Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I have a curriculum haul for you guys. I'm so excited. These are like one of my favorite videos to film and watch on YouTube. And I'm so excited to share with you guys my curriculum haul. I shopped at Rainbow Resources and Amazon for my curriculum haul that I'm sharing for you guys right now. So um, let's go ahead and get on into this thing, you guys. So. Uh, this upcoming homeschool year, the 2024-2025 homeschooling year, I will have a 7th grader, a 1st grader, and a pre-K 4 slash kindergartner this upcoming homeschooling year. So I'm so excited for all of my kiddos. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the little box right here from Rainbow Resources. And um, I'm just going to begin sharing with you guys. So you guys, this is like the most exciting part like for homeschooling mamas when we actually get the curriculum in. I feel like the planning and the prepping phase of like your year is the most like challenging, but this is like the fun and exciting part where you finalize your picks and you finally get to see like all of like your curriculum come in. So here we go, what's this? This is just like my receipt right here from Rainbow Resource. So the first thing that I have at the top is some handwriting books. I have this, my first Kickstart to Kindergarten handwriting book for my youngest daughter. Um, so she is working in the green book, which is like the first handwriting without tears book. So I just leveled her up for the next book for our next upcoming homeschool year. And then for my rising first grader, I got the my printing book for her. So this is just like the first great uh, handwriting without tears book. So yeah, I'm excited. I really, really enjoy handwriting without tears, you guys. The next thing I have in here is a unit for my seventh grader. This is a moving beyond the page unit. This one right here is the roll of thunder here, my cry unit. And I was inspired by Morgan from the life of Tillman's to try this unit out with my seventh grader, my rising seventh grader. Um, you guys, you know, when you hit that season, like right around this time where you want to try like a new unit, you want to add something into your homeschool, you want to do something fun. Well, that time in our homeschooling year where I feel kind of like mundane with our regular curricula and things like that. I wanted to have a unit that we can do that's still centered around the time period that we're going to be studying our upcoming homeschool year. And that's why I chose to try out this moving beyond the page unit really for that added spark and addition in our homeschool. So I'm excited about this one right here. And I heard so many great things about this one. Um, and another person who does a lot of moving beyond the page uh, units, if you want to check out more about them is Ashley from Gather and Grounded. She shares a lot about moving beyond the page. So I'm excited to like get my hands on my first unit and really see how I enjoy it. So moving beyond the page. The next thing that I have in here is just some Explode the Cold books. I got the Explode the Cold one half for my rising first grader. I already have book two. So she's going to do like one and a half and two her first grade year. And then for my uh, youngest, I have the book one since she is actually working on the Get Ready for the Cold books, like the A, B, and C books. So I just wanted to go ahead and grab the next Explode the Cold book one for her. I also have this cute little Kumon stick and paste book for her. Oh my gosh, you guys, she loves doing this right now. My youngest daughter um, really just like to give her something to do. A lot of times when I'm working with her older siblings, I do like having these cute Kumon books. They're so affordable. They're only like $4.95. So I just grabbed an additional one. And I think this is going to be like our third one we went through this year. So I really love these cute little books from Kumon. The uh, next thing I have in here is the next level of Fix-It Grammar for um, my rise in seventh grader. We're working on book four, which is um, the book four we're working on. And right now, this right here is the book five, Frog Prince. So this is actually the high school level for the Fix-It Grammar. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to hold on to this or I'm just going to go ahead and let her complete off the Fix-It Grammar series in her middle school years. Since she is really enjoying it, I'm enjoying it and grammar is just her jam and she's doing so well with this. So um, I guess you really don't really pay attention to levels sometimes when it comes to your kiddos. You just follow their lead and especially with my oldest, I definitely do. So this is the fifth book and then after this, we only have one more book and she's completed the whole Fix-It Grammar series. So I'm excited for her. So this is the Frog Print series and I think the last one is The Little Mermaid. So yeah. And the last thing that I have in this little Rainbow Resources box is 
spelling connections. Um, you guys, I was so tempted to do all about spelling with my rising first grader, but I just wanted to use something that was a little bit more workbook based and I wanted something a little bit more simple since I'm adding in another kiddo and I know all about spelling is a great program. I think I just wanted something a little bit more simplified. It was between spelling connections and 180 days of spelling I was looking into and ultimately I just decided to try out something new uh, for spelling connections because I loved how big the uh, writing is for the kiddos and I do like that it has a little bit of color for her. So uh, if you guys want to flip through of anything, just let me know in the comment section down below and I can do a flip through video. But I'm really excited about spelling connections. Um, so yeah, uh, this does follow like the traditional uh, phonics based approach where the words they do phonetically rhyme and they do have... Um, a little challenging section and this looks really really cute you guys like look at this page right here so i'm excited for my first grader for trying out spelling connections so that is everything in this little box right here i have one huge big box from rainbow resources i actually already opened it up because i'm using it right now with my uh, sixth grader and I actually went ahead and got the nature's workshop uh, lab kit for our exploring creation with physics I was gathering like the materials and the supplies like by myself for the first few lessons but it it really wasn't cost effective to be honest when I started adding up the prices that I was going to the store with I was like it's gonna be better for me to just go ahead and buy the lab kit to finish off our homeschooling year with this curricula so I went ahead and I did and I'm so happy that I did. I love how everything in this box, you guys, is so heavy. <laughs> but everything is like pre-packaged and it's uh, labeled by lessons. And then they also gave me like this sheet right here for some of the perishable items um, that I need. Like stuff like milk and magnesia or like mint toast, like uh, random things. They have it right here, which is not too many for uh, each of the weeks. So it really uh, it has been a time saver with me buying this lab kit. So I'm so excited I went ahead and got that one so that is everything that I got from rainbow resource now I have all of my stuff right here that I got from Amazon so here's my box right here from Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and share with you guys what I got from here so I went ahead and I replenished our school nest notebooks for um, our, our upcoming school year. I really enjoy using these really because of keepsake purposes. Um, at the end of the year, when I look back at all of our like notebooking journals, it's like so special to me to look back at them. And I love having a quality notebook. Now, you don't need this in your homeschool. And I'm going to say this again. You don't need this. You can use any type of composition spiral notebook to notebook. I just really love these school nest notebooks um so they're just really really plain and simple um it really gives you like a lot of leverage of like creativity in these notebooks so this one right here is for my rising seventh grader i got her this one she chose purple this year and i think i'm just going to use one this homeschooling year and then we do have a history timeline notebook we're using right now that's kind of like a continuation one so that's like a one-time purchase we're just using the same notebook and i believe we're still going to use the same history notebook for next year so i just grabbed another one for like english and other types of different things she maybe want to add into this notebook right here so the next thing I got in here is a notebook for my rising first grader her favorite color is blue so I went ahead and just got her the primary composition one that has the big lines and the space where she can like draw a picture because we're really going to work on like writing phonetic sentences and copy work and things like that since she is headed into first grade and I really think she's going to enjoy having her own notebook so this is hers right here and I also got my new planner for next year i went ahead and got the same school nest notebook planner but again i got the bigger one i didn't get the minimalist planner so it just has like more spaces for me to like write notes and things like that this is going to be my third year using a school nest notebook and i really really enjoy using these notebooks um or these planners i should say and notebooks they really um i don't know they just bring me joy so 
I mean, again, like I said, you don't need this notebook or this planner or notebooks and things like that. These are just things in my homeschool that makes me happy. So yeah, my new schoolness planner, I'm so excited. I don't think I'm going to spiral bind this notebook this year. I think I'm just going to keep it exactly the way it is because my first year I didn't spiral bind it and it, you know, worked perfectly fine. So yeah. Some other things that I got from Amazon was The Fallacy Detective. You guys, I seen so many videos on this book and everyone has been raving about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and like read over it over the summer before I introduce this to my oldest. Um, we definitely will just add this in like maybe two to three times a week. Um, if I really find this is a resource I wanna use in our homeschool, really to work on like those reasoning and um, critical thinking skills in our homeschool for my oldest. So I'm excited about this one but I'm definitely going to preview it to see if it's something I do want to add in my homeschool. Now, I went ahead and I got some Kumon books for my youngest daughter and also for my middle daughter right now because they love Kumon. And I definitely always like to have some type of like extra workbooks in our homeschool. You guys, you already know. So for my youngest, I got her this Kumon book, which is numbers one to 30. And again, it's really, really colorful. It has like mazes and different things and activities she can do as far as number recognition one to 30. So I'm excited to, you know, give her another workbook. And we're actually going to start this workbook pretty, pretty soon with her uh, because she just loves workbooks, my youngest daughter. Now, uh, the next workbook I got for my middle daughter is Easy Telling Time. We are actually about to start going over like telling time in her uh, curricula. And I just wanted an extra resource to use uh, for her as far as telling time. And this one was a really, really cute one and affordable. And the last book that I got for, um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this with my youngers because when I seen it, it is more complicated as far as the simple edition book. But I'm just going to save this simple edition book for over the summertime for my uh, rising first grader for her to be able to use. So I'm really, really excited about this uh, Kumon Simple Edition workbook. And the last thing that I got from Amazon is some more composition notebooks. I got this pack of four. Um, you guys, like, I don't know how many I really need in our homeschool, but I just wanted to have like a whole bunch of, of these composition workbooks because I really, again, want to begin working on like those simple sentences as far as my kindergartner right now and her being able to draw a picture. So I just got this four pack. It was really, really affordable. I know I have like my nicer school nest one but I just wanted additional ones even if like my uh, youngest daughter wants to tag along and have her own uh, composition book I want to have some extra ones for her so you guys like this is everything that I got from Rainbow Resources and from Amazon as far as like my curricula I'm really really excited about the upcoming homeschool year um, you guys I'm so excited that the planning phase is over but before I end this video you guys I really want to give you a special thank you for all of you guys who come back to my channel week after week and support me because you support and watch my videos and like and comment I am able to uh, really provide additional supplies to my homeschool and I'm grateful I'm so grateful for all of you guys because of you I'm able to do hauls like this and it really really it fills my heart all of you guys to support and everything your comments everything your messages your DMs I am really really grateful for all of you guys in the community that we have built here on YouTube so you guys stay tuned for part two of this haul I will be sharing all of like my books that I got for the upcoming homeschool year in my next video so so as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.